There is a place near the end of the world, in the shadow of the ice mountains. None more breathtaking than Torres del Paine, the towering mountains of blue ice. Down the Cordillera de los Andes, from the Caribbean to the icy tip in the continent over 8,000 kilometers south, this is where the South American big cats roam. Pumas and condors have coexisted for millennia. As the condors soar above spectacular topography, their shadows drift over some of the most amazing relief in South America. If the pumas represent the land and the condors the heavens, there is a third player in our story. Guanacos. These are the largest grazing animals in the wilds of South America, and yet their survival depends on almost hidden herbs and shrubs. that live here must be highly adapted to the harshness, the wind, the cold, the loneliness that comes from the endless struggle to survive. The wind from the southern ice fields adds to the recipe as it buffets against the mountains and freezes the air. Everything moves as if on fragile glass. These extreme conditions yield some surprisingly robust adapters. Flamingos, birds you'd expect to see in the tropics, venture down here. Everything has to adapt from moment to moment. And it's that which makes the inhabitants so unique here at the end of the world. The wind carries rumors of ambushes waiting to turn your bones into frozen dust. But though the whispered warnings may be imagined, the footprints in the snow are very real. And these cats here have a story of their own. They are pumas, the legends of the ice mountains. <laughs> 